Hi, my name is Dan Hammer, and in this short video, I'm going to explain to you why nitric oxide is so important in helping to reduce the pain associated with sickle cell anemia. To start with, we need to talk about the endothelial cells that line all of your cardiovascular system. These endothelial cells provide a one cell thick lining that coats the interior of your vascular walls. At one time, scientists and researchers didn't pay much attention to these cells. However, in the last 30 years, science has shown that these cells are critical to the health of your cardiovascular system. In fact, they are now considered to be a functioning organ. One of the reasons why is that they control the production of nitric oxide. Outside your body, nitric oxide is an environmental pollutant, but inside your body, it's the master signaling molecule of your cardiovascular system. It regulates blood flow and nitric oxide helps to keep blood platelet cells from sticking together. The endothelial cells use L-arginine to create nitric oxide. L-arginine is an essential amino acid. This means that you need to get it from your diet. The most common food source for L-arginine are dairy products and meat. Since many African Americans are lactose intolerant, they have difficulty digesting dairy products. This results in an inadequate intake of L-arginine, which can reduce your endothelial cell's ability to produce nitric oxide. Nitric oxide is important for two reasons. First, nitric oxide causes the smooth muscle of the vascular wall to relax. This allows your red blood cell to pass through, especially at the capillary level. Second, nitric oxide helps keep blood platelet cells from sticking together. Both of these actions are critical to people with sickle cell anemia because they help to prevent blockages. In the What Causes the Pain video, I used an apple to re represent a normal red blood cell and a banana to represent a sickle cell. As you watch the slow motion tape of the apple passing through the smaller sock, you will notice that the walls of the sock expand to allow the passage of the apple. This is what happens in your body. The red blood cell, or apple, sends a signal to the endothelial cells, causing them to convert L-arginine to nitric oxide. The nitric oxide then relaxes the smooth muscle of the vascular wall, allowing it to expand. This expansion allows the red blood cell to pass through the capillary, but slows it down enough to allow for the delivery of oxygen and the removal of carbon dioxide. Great energy production, and no residual waste products left over. Now watch the slow motion of the banana or sickle cell. When the red blood cell distorts to its sickle shape, it loses its ability to properly create nitric oxide. Reduced nitric oxide production affects the ability of the vascular wall to expand. Thus the sickle cell gets trapped, they tend to stick together, and blood flow is reduced or restricted. This reduces the oxygen supply to the tissues, causing loss of energy and the production of waste products like lactic acid, which irritates the surrounding tissue. The results? Pain. This is why proper nitric oxide production is so critical. Nitric oxide relaxes the smooth muscles of the vascular walls to allow for proper blood flow, and nitric oxide helps keep blood platelet cells from sticking together. The health of your endothelial cells is important, especially to those with sickle cell anemia. The total surface volume of this vascular lining is equal to approximately two tennis courts. If that surface becomes damaged, then the affected endothelial cells lose their ability to create nitric oxide. Additionally, if my diet lacks L-arginine, then the endothelial cells have less raw material to work with in the production of nitric oxide. It would be like Serena Williams trying to play tennis on a court filled with potholes and a limited number of tennis balls. Frustrating, dangerous, and less than ideal. In our next video, we'll look at how ProArginine Plus addresses the repair of the endothelial cells and improves their ability to produce nitric oxide. This all works to increase circulation, which is at the heart of reducing the pain associated with sickle cell anemia.